Parish Song. What the hell? What's Parish Song? There's so many new moves I don't know about. Both Pokemon will faint in three turns? Uh-oh. I don't like this. This isn't good for me. Hello and welcome back to Mr. Red Play's Pokemon Dash Crystal Version colon Misty Challenge another colon part two. Wait, actually, is it a dash or is it a hyphen? I never know the difference between the two. And also, is it a colon or is it a semicolon? I never know the difference between the two. And also, is this joke funny or is it not funny? I never know the difference between the two. Anyway, this is episode two of the Misty Challenge. So I have taken it upon myself to level Togepi up to level seven. Uh, so now she, interesting, uh, knows Metronome. So that's great. We are going to uh, destroy everything we come across now today. Uh, it's going to be good. Can we change? How do you change the move order? You probably do that in an actual battle. So we'll wait to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll hold off on that. So what I've done is I have gone. Well, let's talk to this guy because we need to get a town map. Uh, I've gone and done all of the stuff that I needed to do to get Metronome. So that's done. Now all I have to do is just win the game. Like that was step one. Step two is beat the game. So I'm going to do that real quick. You guys wait here. Here, it's my house. Thanks for your company. Let me give you a small gift. Hmm. Uh, oh, it's a map card. Okay, it, I now have a map card. It becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey, etc. Uh, this is good news because now we can use it in our polka gear and we have a town map. It's pretty great. Now we need to go to Violet City. Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. So that's what we're gonna do. I believe I don't need anything else from here. Everyone's healed up. Uh, to their max level. I don't need any Pokeballs because I'm not going to get any Pokemons. Although, I'm remembering now that we have... we're it, It's like the Wurmple Challenge in that uh, what we need to do is um, get some stuff. Boy, that sentence just kind of left me, didn't it? Uh, Pokemon that will learn HMs for us because we don't uh, know them. All right, yeah, I did talk to this guy and got a berry because... While I was leveling up, it was very difficult, and I was only getting, like, two XP per battle, uh, and it was it was tough. So I had to give, in order to, like, save the move economy, I had to give a berry to my other Pokemon, not Togepi, uh, but the other one. Useless. Uh, and it was, it was, it was a lot. All right, here we are. Let's, let's, yeah, there we go. Let's move that. And now let's, I guess, Charm can be second. Yeah, Charm can be second. It's alphabetical. After the metronome. It's alphabetical. We got charm, we got growl. That's numbers, baby. All right, let's uh, use metronome. Here we go. First try. Okay, ancient power. Yes, we used a real move. I was worried, and it was super effective, too. The thing about metronome is it can literally do any move in the game, and that is a problem for us. I also just realized that there are only nine, I mean, there's 10 PP. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> there's 10 PP, um, <laughs> that, uh, we have to worry about. So, we're gonna have to get some ether and stuff like that. We'll cross those bridges far in the future. I, I see those bridges in the distance. I'm not too worried about them right now. What I'm worried about is stuff like this, where we'll use glare, it'll paralyze them, which I guess is a good thing, but it's not what we want. What we want is this. No, no, ignore this. We don't want this. This is this is bad news. Uh, what we want is moves that do damage. Like when we used Ancient Power before. Let's see what happens. Whoa, what the hell? Octazooka? I don't even know what that move is. I've never even seen... I've literally never heard of that move before in my life. That's a new one. I did not expect to learn new moves. Uh, playing Pokemon, but a uh, Pokemon Gen 2 of all things. Everyone's having fun battling! You should too! Yikes, all right, that guy's pushy. Uh, let's save. What we need to worry about is everything. <laughs> Everything's gonna be an issue for us. Man, I am so excited to be back in this. It feels good. We played the Wurmple Challenge. It was fun, but it was a long time ago. And uh, now we're, we're doing it again. That's really all that can be said. We're doing it again. It's exciting. All right, youngster Joey, he could he could present an issue for us because of the metronome that I'm doing. So let's see. I'm nervous. It's so random. I don't know if there are any 
uh, stats or rules to it, or if it's just, it literally just rolls a random number. Oh, Swift, good. Swift is good. Oh, not good enough though. Hey, it was a critical hit too. Wait, is Swift always a critical hit? I know it always hits, but is it always critical? I think not. Dream Eater, oh, but he's not sleeping. Oh, God, he's not sleeping. All right, I'm definitely gonna have to go and heal and then, and then get some healies. In fact, I might, what, why? Dynamic Punch missed. Listen, if I'm gonna be, uh, if I'm gonna be doing this using Metronome, I gotta not miss, that's the thing. Because there's so often that stuff like this is gonna go come up and I gotta not have that happen. I gotta not be able to hit and then also miss. Did that make sense? I don't think it did. Clamp, is that a lot? Ah, it's enough, there's another critical hit. Hey, good job Togepi. All right, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to try to remember to stop by all the Pokemarts and buy stuff that I need. Cause like, for example, right now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy, well, I have the berry. That's, that's, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna give this berry to Togepi because uh, it's just gonna be useful, you know? I, I, I can't afford to be dying. <laughs> not, 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 not with the moveset that I have, which is nil. <laughs> Let's check out the mark. Maybe there is some stuff that, that could be helpful for us. Uh, so we do have potions, etc. Those could be good. Uh, there's not really anything great. Potions could be good. Actually, I don't think they will be. Here's the thing. If we're going to be so desperately using metronome, which again, we only have 10 PP. Uh, 10 PP uh, for, we don't want to try healing ourselves too much whilst we're in the midst of battle because if we get to the point where we are down to like one HP or perhaps even dead, Although I guess we can't use a potion when we're dead. Uh, we're gonna want to restock up on those PP. Uh, so we will have to go back for the Pokemon Center. That's just how it is. Also, I'm wondering if I should do my classic method of running from all of Mach Punch. That was not very effective. I mean, I didn't say it's not very effective. It wasn't super effective. Uh, so that's a, that's a lot of stuff to worry about and I'm scared and confused and upset. Nightshade. Oh, it doesn't affect enemy Hoot Hoot. What is that, like a ghost type? Nightshade and Hoot Hoot is either dark or normal. One of them can't be affected by ghost types, which seems baffling to me. I get that like, oh, hey, high jump kick. This could be a problem. Uh, all right, which one of my sentences did I start that I wanna, that I wanna keep going with? I am gonna do that where I run from the battles because I think Anything that I come across now, trainer-wise, is going to be about the same level as the wild Pokemon. So I'm not too worried about losing out on the experience uh, because I can just fight the trainers and, and they won't be super hard. That's what I'm saying. Anything that I do come across in the wild will be, um, bad. It'll just be a waste. It'll be a waste of PP uh, and HP, which I, I can't afford to waste either of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight the trainers. I'm gonna go around. And then what I like to do is uh, if I do need to level up, if I'm at a point where I'm just desperately losing and it's bad, I try to level up by going back and maybe fighting other trainers or just training, but those will be off camera. So it's kind of a way of making the episodes a little bit less awful to watch. Uh, but hey, you be the judge. Horn attack, hell yeah, horn attack. Okay, that was good move. See, my Togepi's not too bad. My Togepi is not too bad. Shabber. Thundershock, hey, perfect. Perfect use of an electric move there, Togepi. Couldn't be prouder of you. Uh, not leveled up though. It's fine. Focus energy. Great. Ah, bite. <laughs> bite? I bit the rat. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't buy rats. Present? What? Whoa. Whoa, I don't know that movie either. All right, hey, I won. My girl up to level eight. Well, that's fantastic news. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I'm scared that I'm running out of metronomes. Uh, oh, move. You can move, move that way. I got two left. Uh-oh. I better get myself got to a Pokemon Center quick. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm going to take this from you. Because, like I mentioned before, if I am at the point where I'm running low on HP, I'll also be running out of metronomes. And I do not want to run out of metronomes. So I am, I'm going to go right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go right now to the Pokemon Center. By the way, I'm not running this game on an emulator. I'm not, not doing it. But if I were running it on an emulator, if, 
because I'm not. But if I were, I'm not. But if, uh, would it be the rules of time in real life? That is to say, I, if I, if I, again, if I were to shut this down, I'm not using an emulator, but if I did, if I shut it down and it's seven o'clock in real time, and then tomorrow at noon, I turn it on, will it be noon in the game? And then the same question for the berries. Will they like replenish after a couple days in real life if I don't have the game running the whole time? I don't know. That was a, th that was a component of the uh, of the real game and the cartridge game, which I'm playing because I'm. it's not an emulator. But the real game, which this is, does that and does an emulator do that, which I'm not using an emulator. Are we clear on that? Good, because that berry down there, I got that uh, when I was leveling up uh, Togepi, and it's it's back. But, yeah, so I, I think it is. I don't know. I think it is, but I don't know. All right, Poliwag. I don't really have time for all of you. I'm getting the hell out of here. Uh-oh, guess I'm not. Guess I'm not. Hey, stop. Stop this madness at once. Thank you. All right, I'm wondering, should I try to fight every trainer I come across, or should I not? Because I could get the exp, which is good, but maybe it would just be too time consuming. I will. Uh, gotta fill content somehow. This is a bad example. Th this trainer here is a bad example. This is a good example. Um, and, and especially because we're, we're gonna get to the gym, and we're gonna have to fight the gym leader. And I gotta be as strong as I possibly can for all that because, oh god! All right, Togepi, try to use a flying type move. Would would you? Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Perish song. What the hell? What's perish song? There's so many new moves I don't know about. Both Pokemon will faint in three turns. Uh oh! I don't like this. This isn't good for me. Uh, if I switch to a different Pokemon, will the same? Will that? Am I good? Agility? That's not gonna help. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to useless. I know I'm not supposed to use any other Pokemon, but I'm technically not using useless, because he's useless. Oh, okay, so it said Caterpie's uh, perish count was one. So now, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not do anything. Let's just growl. I know, oh. Never mind. Never mind. All right, I accidentally used useless. I didn't mean to. Let's switch back to Togepi. I'm worried that switching out now, he'll die because he'll be back and it'll be like his parish count is now zero and he dies. Uh, but hey, it doesn't seem to be dead yet. Maybe he's got to move first. Oh, Mega Punch, good. Good, Togepi. He oh, okay. I was gonna say hell yeah, but mm, hell. <laughs> no, it was pretty good, it, it, was, it was good. Tackle. The thing is, I'm gonna try not to use any other. The, uh, the thing is, it's a metronome only run. It's not just a Misty Challenge Togepi only run. Uh, disable. Okay. Uh, it's also it's a it's a metronome only run, so I can only use metronome. So I'm not gonna use things like Charm or like Growl or any other moves that I get because can't. Also, I like this. I like this bide after disabling his only damaging move. That's, that's rich. Watch this, I'm gonna unleash energy. Oh, it failed, because there was no energy to unleash. Togepi's alive though, that's, that's, that's good. Comet Punch, awesome! All right, well, unfortunately that means that this Caterpie is not going to die immediately, which is what I was kind of hoping would happen, uh, because Togepi didn't die immediately. Oh, and now I can get hit, so if I use Bite again, at least I'll get hit. Faint attack, faint attack, okay. Ah, come on, Togepi. Just a little further. Rain dance. Doing a rain dance. All right, it's raining now. Cool. Maybe if I use a water type move, it will be more effective then, right? Or does it only affect water Pokemon? Spider web. Jesus, I can't. There's so many moves that I don't know. I'm so used to uh, uh, Gen 1. That's like my jam, you know? That I know every move in that game. Let's start. Tackle, <laughs> growl, tail whip, etc. No, uh, but uh, yeah, there's just a lot of moves. I don't know. I don't know. I'm too strong though. That's for sure. All right, I gotta go heal. I'm gonna save and see if I can make it forward though without healing because I want to try it. I might die. All right, onward and forward. Here we go. Uh-oh. Bellsprout appeared. Oh, 
This is awkward. Uh, look at the time. Uh, Bellsprout, I gotta run! Alright, I found a potion! I found a potion! Uh, this is the Dark Cave, right? Yeah, Dark Cave. Uh, very creatively named, it is dark. And I can't go in there. Alright, I got a bitter berry. Uh, it's possible that I was in the middle of a sentence that I'll never remember because I just got a call. Uh, and I had to stop recording for a second. And I was also way darker than I was before. I think that's better. Uh, yeah, so I had to stop recording, and now I'm all like, where was I? I have the memory of a goldfish. Not a magic carp. A goldeen. Alright, let's get this cheeky little thing. It's a Pokeball! I'm not gonna fight this this fine fellow here. I'm just gonna go, because I know that the uh, town is, like, right up there. Whew, if I can ever get to it. If I can ever just get to it. Alright, well, I found a good Pokemon in Dark Cave. I'm gonna race it on to take it on Fal Faulkner. He's the leader of Violet City's gym. Alright. Hey, we did it! We're here! That means in the next episode, we're gonna be fighting- Wow, this is fast. We're gonna be fighting the gym leader in the next episode. In the Warble Challenge, I think it was like fi episode 50 that we finally- Spoilers, finally beat the gym leader. I feel like it was a long time. It, it was it was a long time to get there, too. Maybe Gen 3 is just like that. I Because in Gen 2, spoilers, there's like the whole thing after you get the Elite Four beaten all of them. You know what I mean? Uh, there's like all the, uh, po the uh, and after the, whatever. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Tune in in two days for something else. No, wait, it's this. Tune in in two days for more of this. Episode three. So enjoy that. See everybody. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.